Nancy Milford's biographical book, Zelda, is a literary masterpiece that explores the life of Zelda Fitzgerald, the wife of the famous American author F. Scott Fitzgerald. The book is a compelling narrative that provides a deep insight into the life of one of the most remarkable women of the 20th century, who was known for her beauty, creativity, and tragic end. Through meticulous research and interviews, Milford presents a vivid portrait of Zelda that goes beyond the popular image of a flapper and a muse to reveal a complex, talented, and troubled individual who struggled to find her place in the world. The book is structured in a chronological order, starting with Zelda's childhood in Montgomery, Alabama and tracing her life through her marriage to Scott Fitzgerald, her career as a writer and painter, her struggles with mental illness, and her untimely death. Milford's writing is eloquent, poignant, and at times, heartbreaking, as she brings to life Zelda's experiences, emotions, and thoughts. She uses a variety of sources, including personal letters, journals, interviews with friends and family, and historical records, to create a rich tapestry of Zelda's life and times. One of the major themes of the book is the role of women in society during the early 20th century. Zelda grew up in a conservative southern family that placed a high value on social status and conformity. However, she rebelled against these expectations, and her marriage to Scott Fitzgerald was a bold move that defied convention. Milford portrays Zelda as a woman ahead of her time, who challenged the patriarchal norms of her era and sought to define herself on her own terms. Zelda's artistic ambitions, her struggles with mental illness, and her efforts to establish her own identity are all examples of her quest for autonomy and self-expression. Another important theme of the book is the relationship between Zelda and Scott Fitzgerald. Milford presents a nuanced portrait of their marriage, showing both the passion and the conflict that characterized their relationship. She depicts Scott as a brilliant but flawed man, who was often selfish and insensitive towards Zelda's needs. At the same time, she shows Zelda as a complex and multifaceted person, who was not just a passive victim of Scott's excesses, but an active participant in their shared experiences. Milford's account of their marriage is a powerful illustration of the challenges and complexities of love, and the impact that it can have on one's life. The book also explores the theme of mental illness, which was a central part of Zelda's life. Milford provides a sensitive and insightful portrayal of Zelda's struggles with schizophrenia, which was diagnosed when she was in her thirties. She shows how Zelda's illness affected her artistic and personal life, and how she fought to maintain her identity and dignity despite the stigma and discrimination that she faced. Milford's depiction of mental illness is compassionate and humanistic, and it highlights the importance of empathy and understanding in dealing with this complex issue. In conclusion, Zelda, is a remarkable book that offers a compelling and nuanced portrait of one of the most fascinating women of the 20th century. Milford's writing is both lyrical and insightful, and her research is meticulous and thorough. Through her portrayal of Zelda's life, Milford provides a powerful commentary on the themes of women's rights, love, and mental illness, which continue to resonate with readers today. The book is a must-read for anyone interested in the history of the 20th century and in the lives of extraordinary women who defied convention and left their mark on the world.